Hi guys, uh, welcome back. This is lesson number 24 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to make this nice beautiful effect on the text. As you can see that here, we have very smooth 3D effect on the text. We are going to create this with the blend tool. In our previous lesson, we learned about blend tool, the basic of the blend tool, but uh, now we will go a little bit more in advanced. And uh, that is very easy, but we will add just uh, some more option through blend tool. So let's see how it's done. I'm going to move these things to the side here. Okay, and uh, here we are going to start with the text first. Zoom tool and zoom to page height. So this is how we have. So guys, uh, first thing we need to do, we need to type text. Okay, so here we have a text tool. You can see that text tool. Click it. Type your desired text. I can type rose here. Okay, you can give any stylish font to this. I am going to choose uh, some font here, maybe this. And uh, for now, this is fine. We'll increase the size here. Let's uh, uh, apply outline and uh, remove the color from inside. So right click on the black and left click on the X here to remove. So you can see the path I will create now on this text. So guys, we need to create path here the way we have done in our previous lesson. Uh, one lesson we have, we created path and then we use the artistic media. But this time we are going to create again path in this text and we will use here some tool. We can use B Subline or maybe we can use pen tool. So let's go with the pen tool. I think it's better. Pen tool. We will start with a pen tool to draw here. Simply we need to draw path inside these letters and then uh, we will use blend. I can start from here. Okay. This way I am just clicking and dragging and uh, maybe a little curve here and then double click to close this path. So I have one path here and for this thing another path I will create. Now I will start from here little curve in the middle and we will end up here double click so we have two paths and this what we can create continue path for these three letters so let's start from here just click and drag adjust this way and then I can start from here And we can end up here double click to close now we can use shape tool if you want to make it a little bit smooth click on shape tool and uh, you can see that here we have a node i will move this node and double click to add maybe here and make a little bit smooth here that is fine okay and in this area that is okay in this node maybe we don't need here it's okay we can just just a little bit in this area here maybe I can add another node here and I can double click to delete that node so it will be smooth here we can add another node here and we can delete this node okay that is fine so that is okay now we have here path we need to move this text uh, from here so click on pick tool and this is our real text we'll bring it out you can see that this text we use to create this path okay we need really this path for our blend so simply what we need to do now we need to create a circular shape here small circle okay press control key so you can create perfect circle proportionally this way and now we are going to fill color gradient color we will use interactive fill tool here we have you can see that if you are following this training course series 
you know already because in our previous lesson we use so click it instead of going here just directly click and drag like this inside okay so you can see that we have two color transition black and white here I want maybe black color at the bottom in the lower square I will drag here black and up maybe I can add red okay so you can see that it is a little bit giving shade from the down and uh, this how smoothly the color is going up the black color so that is fine so right click to remove outlined we don't need outline here so this is how we have now all what you have to do you need to just copy and bring it to the other side press plus key from the keyboard to copy and simply shift key or control key to bring in the same alignment we have two now we can use blend tool we can select one of them and here we have blend you can see you can click on drop shadow tool hold down and there is a blend tool the third one in our previous lesson also we use and simply click and drag from this circle to this okay you need to bring it in the center and you will see this small white square and the black preview you can see that once you see this that's the time release the mouse okay so now we have very smooth transition with this blend you can see that it is like a smooth 3d object here we have all what we have to do we need to apply to this path but how many paths we have we have one two and three path so we need three blend this way so press plus key and click and drag it down to bring it this way but don't bring your mouse in the corner both side okay because in the corner sometime it will select the last object in the blend so you might not be able to select click in the middle again press plus and we have three objects all right it's very simple you need to select this blend and go to the option here you can see that here we have blend options now because blend is applied so here we have option path properties okay so click on path property and click new path okay once you will click new path your mouse pointer it is converted into curve arrow okay carefully you need to bring this arrow to the path that you want to apply the blend like this so you can see that that the blend is applied already but it is not complete you know with this path we'll go to another option here look at this this button is more blend option you can just click on it blend along full path so click it so you can see that that blend it goes with that full path now same thing we will do for this so select the second blend go to this option here path property new path and choose this path now it is there it is uh, going to follow this path but we need to apply once again in more blend option blend along full path so it goes like this but you can see that it is a little bit rough because here uh, we don't have enough objects for the blend wait a minute we will fix that let's apply first this so select this here the third one repeat the same process new path and click on this path go to more blend options and blend along full path now you can see that coral dry is telling here that these objects the number of objects not enough for this path because this path is longer and uh, our blend object it is shorter what we can do for this simply we can increase the number here let's say we have 100 to make it smooth I will add 500 look at this now we have 500 objects I think that is fine here in this blend here I can add maybe 200 more 300 let's try okay that is fine the first one may be 150 okay that is smooth now but we have single color okay because both side object is having same color but you don't need to worry about that because in the blend we can even blend the color okay when you are creating blend you can add color let's say in the first object blue in the second object red whatever color you want then blend will make two color transition but if you want the smooth blend color transition you need to apply both colors same and here we can do that look at this this is the option clockwise blend and also we have here counterclockwise blend so anyone you want you can apply i will apply this counterclockwise blend so you can see that here we have a very smooth transition in the different colors so I will apply to this as well I will select this and go to even we can apply this 
look at this we have a clockwise and we have a counterclockwise so it's up to you which one you like you can apply and the third one also i will choose this so this is how we get this beautiful nice effect on our text here we have a background you know already how to make this background in our previous lesson we learned i will just copy here bring this under this text but still if you want to make this background you can see that i apply just interactive fill tool okay and uh, we have one two three four and five color okay you can click and drag okay to apply the color and then you can from here any color you can drag on this path here to apply let's say i apply here another color i will drag on this path here so you can see that this way you can apply different color in the background if you really want detail for this gradient background you can go to the previous lesson that is exercise number 23 you can watch and you will know how to apply this nice effect i hope you enjoyed this lesson try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you